lecture we discussed about leontief input output model now in this lecture we'll do some questions so that we are comfortable with the topic the example 12.1 which is from the book itself an economy has three industries fishing forestry and boat building to produce 1 ton of fish requires the services of alpha fishing boats now it is given to produce 1 ton of timber requires beta tons of fish in order to feed the foresters so they are telling that the industries these three different industries are interlinked and to produce one fishing boat requires gamma types of timber now it is mentioned that there is no final demand find what gross outputs each of the three industries must produce in order to meet the final demands of d1 tons of fish and d2 tons of timber so there is no final demand for boat building now before this the main purpose is that you should know how to write the equations now suppose let x1 denote fish x2 denote timber and x3 denote boats so ideally in equilibrium the total demand should equal total supply total demand would be the demand suppose if you are talking about the fish industry first so the total in total demand consists of two things final demand plus input demand now suppose we are talking about the fish industry first so it is fish is used as an input in case of timber right so to produce timber beta tons of fish is required so the demand for fish as an input would be beta times x2 where x2 is timber so beta units of fish is required to produce one unit of timber so beta times x2 units of fish is required to produce x2 units of timber and for this it is fishing boats for this it is timber so and the final demand of fish is d1 tons so this is the total demand for fish and this should be equals to x x1 right now moving to timber the total demand for timber this is fishing boats okay so the total demand of timber timber is required as an input in production of fishing boat and gamma tons of timber so effectively it should be gamma times x3 and then there is final demand of timber as well so plus d2 this should be equals to x2 at this particular point the total demand of timber equals the total supply of timber now the third is boats there is no final demand for boats so d3 is zero and now boats are used as an input to produce fish fish was x1 so alpha times fish so alpha times fish was x1 so this should be equals to x3 so we have got three equations now we need to find the final values of x1 x2 and x3 with the help of this equation you can substitute this into this so we would have gamma alpha x1 plus d2 equals to x2 and from this equation we have x1 equals to beta x2 plus d1 now substituting x2 into this we get x1 equals to beta times gamma alpha x1 plus d2 plus d1 so x1 becomes beta gamma alpha x1 plus beta d2 plus d1 so x1 becomes 
वन माइनस बीटा गामा अल्फा बीटा डी टू प्लस डी वन दिस इज डी वन सो एक्स वन बीटा डी टू प्लस डी वन अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा अल्फा सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन दैट वी आर हैविंग नाउ लुकिंग एट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स थ्री एक्स थ्री वॉज नथिंग बट एल्फा एक्स सो ओके एल्फा एक्स वन इज एक्स थ्री सो द टोटल डिमांड फॉर बोर्ड वुड बी एल्फा टाइम्स बीटा डी टू प्लस डी वन अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा गामा एल्फा राइट नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो द प्रोडक्शन द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई शुड बी पॉजिटिव ओनली सो दिस टर्म शुड बी पॉजिटिव विच मीन्स वन माइनस बीटा गामा एल्फा शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो बेसिकली वन शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन बीटा गामा एल्फा द डिनोमिनेटर शुड नॉट बी नेगेटिव राइट नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू एज वेल सो एक्स टू इज नथिंग बट दिस थिंग so on solving this we will have gamma x3 so this is x3 right in green so this is x3 gamma beta d2 plus d1 upon 1 minus beta gamma alpha x2 is gamma x3 plus d2 so plus d2 so this can be written as this implies x2 is टू इज गामा बीटा डी टू प्लस गामा डी वन प्लस डी टू माइनस डी टू बीटा एल्फा अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा सो दिस विल कैंसल आउट सो एक्स टू टर्न आउट टू बी डी टू प्लस गामा एल्फा डी वन अपॉन वन माइनस बीटा गामा एल्फा सो दिस इज द फाइनल वैल्यू दैट वी आर गेटिंग ओके नाउ मूविंग टू अ बैक एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज दैट कंसिडर एन इकोनमी डिवाइडेड इन टू एन एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर ए सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू सेक्टर्स फर्स्ट इज एग्रीकल्चर Okay, I'll do it here. This is what. Okay. Okay, I'll try to like narrow down the gap between these two things. so this last question i would expect you doing this on your own try this as a practice question we'll discuss it either in the class or in youtube itself but let's do this question first and we'll do this question okay so we'll you do this question this is the technology matrix given to you so in the previous video this would be a11 a12 a13 then a21 these are the corresponding value a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 and these are the final demands f1 f2 f3 f120 f2 is 0 f3 is 100 so you can solve this as well and this is an is question 2022 maybe or 24 which is of 8 marks okay so don't get scared from this you already know these things now moving the, to the first question consider an economy divided into an agricultural sector and an industrial sector so we have two sectors first is agriculture then industrial to produce one unit in sector a so we'll find the total demand for agriculture and the total demand for industry 
agriculture. Now it is mentioned that to produce one unit in sector A requires one by six unit from A. So to produce agriculture good, one by six of A is required, and one by four unit from I. So the total demand for industry. So this is we are talking about input demand. So one by four. So this one by four denotes that one by four unit of industrial input, industrial output, as an input is required to produce one unit of agriculture. So one by four into A would mean, if you want to produce total of A. So one by four times A is the total industrial output required to produce it. Now this was given in the question. To produce one unit in sector industry i requires one by four unit from a now agriculture one by four is required to produce one unit of industrial good similarly one and one by four unit from i so for industry sector itself they require one by four unit of the industry to produce one unit of the good suppose final demands in each of these sectors are 60 so this these are the input demands and the final demand is 60 60 write down the leontief system for the economy so we have already written these equations so this should be equals to the total agriculture demand and this should be equals to total industrial demand so this is the leontief system that we have already got now find the number of units that has to be produced in each sector in order to meet the final demand so we have this equation with us 1 by 6 a plus 1 by 4 i plus 60 is equals to a and 1 by 4 a plus 1 by 4 i plus 60 equals to i so you can solve so since these are two equations in two variables you can solve this by substitution as well but since we are supposed to use the matrix form so this can be written as 60 equals to 1 minus 1 by 6 into a this would be minus 1 by 4 i the second equation 60 can be written as 1 minus 1 by 4 i minus sorry so this would be first it would be corresponding to a itself so it would be minus 1 by 4 a plus 1 minus 1 by 4 i so this can be written as 60 60 equals to 5 by 6 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 a into y so this is the final demand which can be written as x so we have the equation of the form b equals to i minus a into x so x can be written as i minus a inverse into b so ai can be written as 5 by 6 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 whole inverse multiplied by 60 60 so for 2 plus 2 the inverse is quite easy and you will be solving these inverses in the later classes as well so we just need to interchange them and change the sign of these things at 1 by determinant of this determinant of suppose i say t okay so let's find the determinant first so the determinant is so the inverse is 1 by suppose this is m 1 by determinant m into adjoint m so I hope you would be clear with this. Now finding the determinant, the determinant of this matrix I minus A inverse is I minus A determinant would be 5 by 6 into 3 by 4 minus of minus 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 4. So minus minus cancels. So this is 5 by 8 minus 1 by 16. 
so this is 10 by 16 minus 1 by 16 so this is 9 by 16 so determinant i minus a is 9 by 16 which is greater than 0 so remember the simon hogan condition this is getting satisfied and 1 minus a11 should be greater than 0 1 minus a22 should be greater than 0 a11 is this so 5 by 6 is greater than 0 and a22 is 1 by 4 so 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 which is greater than 0 so simon condition simon hawking conditions are also being satisfied right now we have got this the inverse of this would be the adjoint of suppose m is 3 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 just we need to change the signs and 5 by 6 so the inverse would be so a i becomes 1 upon 9 by 16 into 3 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 5 by 6 multiplied by 60 60 so this is 16 by 9 so 16 by 9 into 3 by 4 into 60 plus 1 by 4 into 60 then 1 by 4 into 60 plus 5 by 6 into 60 so if you will solve this this is coming out to be 60 only so 16 by 9 into 60 this is 15 plus 10 65 so the agricultural output would be 16 by 9 into 60 so 20 by 3 this is 320 by 3 and the industrial output would be 16 by 9 into 65 so 16 0 So this is coming out to be 1040 by 9. These are the final output that you are supposed to produce. Now try to solve this question on your own. Try to solve this question on your own and we will discuss this in maybe in the class or in the next videos. Try to solve this. Okay. Thank you.